Smile for me, smile for me That's what I said to this girl, I knew was boy crazy Was too complacent with them bad boys, trap boys The magazine has a guide, eyes lost in them tabloids For some reason I took a liking A hunger for love was so passionate, so exciting But she couldn't define enemy from friend to be All she wanted to see was that intimacy Smile for me baby, smile for me baby Why your vision's so blurry and your smile so hazy I see that mascara wearing off It smears every time a tear drops Smile again I know the times are tough but Trying to show what better days is a feather way back in them letterman wearing days. Young love, young buck, pretty girl strutting in them pumps. Every other week she had a different man dump. Maybe she's searching for something better in a different weather. Expectations high, depicting who comes up. Searching for that one man, man, she won't let up. Why? I look instead, I need a close up. Huh. I'm tired of the sideline, I'm trying to make you mine. She says a friend's a friend, ain't that crossing the line? Maybe it is, or maybe you begin something great. Where I make you smile again, you know? Smile again I know the times are tough, but Smile for me I know this world is crazy Smile, smile, smile For me, for me, for me Yeah, dream chasers Heart takers, smile on the world, let's see where that can take us Your smile's an art, and life it makes a mark If they painted it clearer, maybe this vision would be vivid Smile again, I know the times are tough, but Smile for me, I know this world is crazy Smile, smile, smile Nigga, bang his head in public. Y'all nigga 
niggas don't get that Kill a nigga, fuck it I had to say it twice Cause you out of luck with Catch a nigga AK Sorority, no pledging Niggas wanna talk shit Gun game, I'm a legend Rap game, I'm a legend Nigga taking Excedrin Niggas wanna get pumped up like a veteran I'm in with it, nigga I got to steal with it, nigga They call me Bill with it, nigga Cause I kill with it, nigga You a coward, you coward This nigga feeling it, nigga Put the chrome to your dome And then appealing it, nigga Talking AK-47 You ain't seen in the country Russian made, China made Just to keep it funky Shred a nigga up, slice a nigga like lunch meat Nigga ain't a real nigga, bitch, you can't pump me yeah. On stage, watching bad bitches praise us So keep doing what you're doing, you can hate us You can't keep them clocks on, you can't be us It's on G stash, shout out to the leaders Are you thinking about getting your GED diploma? Well, here at the GED Pep Talk Center, we've got a number of pep talks that can motivate you. Sometimes things don't always turn out the way you want them to. You know that feeling? People look at you and don't believe in you. You want some gentle encouragement. Then you're on your way to your GED diploma and a better life. But I know they're probably just a little bit nervous. You can find it in yourself to take that first step. You can improve your future. You can do this. I know you can. You need to start pushing yourself. Now get your game face on and take the first step towards a better life. Hurry up. Don't make me repeat myself. Whatever level of motivation you need to get your GED diploma, we've got a pep talk that's right for you. Call 1-877-38-YOUR-GED or visit yourged.org for your pep talk and find free GED classes in your area. GED is a registered trademark of the American Council on Education. Brought to you by Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ad Council. Charge of the console, keeping Riley happy all day long. And may I add, I love your dress, it's adorable. Oh, this whole thing, thank you so much. I love the way it looks. When you're doing any kind of comedic performance, you figure out like, what are the rules of this character? And Joy has very specific rules, which is like, keep going, stay positive, you know, stay in the moment, don't overthink it. Um, and then you realize that she does that because she has fear that things are gonna turn sad. And so it was fun to play a character that had an arc that went from this what seemingly was like a very one-dimensional place to suddenly Joy is crying halfway through the movie and experiencing things like in, the, in real time like we are. I found a junior hockey league right here in San Francisco, and get this, tryouts are tomorrow after school. What luck, right? Hockey? Uh-oh. What do we do? Guys, uh, this, 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 here, you, you pretend to be Joy. Won't it be great to be back out on the ice? Oh, yeah. That sounds fantastic. What was that? That wasn't anything like Joy. Uh, because I'm not Joy? Yeah, no kidding. Pixar does a great job always of not condescending to their audience, and they don't patronize children. They don't make kids' movies. Um, I loved their brave attempt to go in when a lot of movies these days are like about 
like external disasters and like really like 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 fabricated bad guys like Pixar decided to be like oh we're gonna make the stakes like the mind and we're gonna make the setting an 11 year old girl oh, unicorn right there I loved you in fairy dream adventure part seven okay bye I love you <laughs> It wasn't the right time until it was, you know, until I was inspired and I felt like I had stuff to say. So uh, it was such a big part of my life for such a long time. I needed to take a break. I did. Didn't quite know how long the break was going to be, and it ended up being a pretty long time. Everything on the record I connect to, you know, whether I wrote it or I didn't, it, it grabbed me in a certain way, and I wanted to tell the story, so. They're all very, very relatable, you know. My relationship or anybody else's, you know, we've all been through it before, so. Uh, there's, a, there's difficult stuff on the record, and there's happy, breezy stuff on the record. I think we all should remember to make all of those breaths count, you know through the good times and the bad times, you know, just remembering to take a moment and to breathe in and breathe out and let something really soak in or help move through something, you know, we should appreciate it all. over there. Sixty-nine. I'm taking it back to you. I'll clean your house naked. <laughs> Sixty-nine naked. I just want to tell my parents. I hope that this makes them proud and somehow makes up for all the <laughs> that I do <laughs> all the time. You are two of the most selfless people, and you have taught me and all my siblings how important it is to be there for those who need us and how important it is to care about other people in their lives. So thank you for making me say that. And um, people say that they don't choose their family, but I choose my family every time. And I think that even if you weren't my mom and dad, I'd hope we'd still be in the room.